three, two, one. And my foot was just like dangling. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! Hey, lady. You don't have OCD. You forgot your spaghetti. You have OBCD. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. I'm Ashley's Darwin. That should be my middle name. Amberlynn Hungry Reed. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel so disconnected. She was like, you're healthy. So much care. But you are obese. Huh? Hello? Is anyone home? Hey girls, welcome back. Okay, so Amber has already uploaded another video titled, What Happened After the Breakup and Can We Just Talk About This Thumbnail She Chose? This thumbnail is significantly more dramatic and entertaining than the actual video, but despite that, let's get into it. I finally took my first shower since the breakup. Um, today is the 6th. We broke up on the 4th, and I'm a daily shower type of girl. I don't think I've skipped a shower in... I don't know, it's been a hot minute, so the fact that I was able to shower, I am glad about that. I just feel super, like everything doesn't matter. Things seem so pointless right now. Like, me and Becky have already talked about this, so don't think this is me just being like victim land or pity land or whatever. But this is like, I can't listen to music, I can't watch movies, I can't watch TV shows because everything makes me think of Becky and like everything I look at is just like, nothing feels the same, like everything just feels so like, insignificant and i just sit here and stare into like the ceiling and that's been my life for the last few days and feline did give me permission to share as much as i want and that kind of shocked me to be honest because she is very private but she knows this is also something that i'm going through i haven't been the most independent person in my life obviously but it doesn't matter if you're super independent if you're not sometimes you just need someone to like care I am being like kind of vague to protect Feline because I love her, but there are a few things I want to clear up. People saying like, she broke up with me. No. People saying that it's because she's poly. No. No, I'm not being pushed into a poly relationship. Trust me. Amber, I think you'd enjoy a poly relationship. No, 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 no. I wouldn't because I'm very jealous. Like she's already explained to me like, she wants to be in a relationship with me. She just wants, like, <laughs> I don't want to give too much of her business out. But obviously, like, I'm the one that she wants, you know, in, like, all aspects. But I don't know. It's just I'm very, like, jealous. Honestly, if I was to hook up with someone else, I feel like I would just be thinking of her. Like, like people saying that she's in a relationship, another one, like, found someone else. No, none of these things are true at all. Feline is a great person. <sighs> I wasn't happy because there were things that were happening. I know she wasn't happy. Mutually, this has been something that we have talked about, about breaking up, um, trying to fix things and- Yes, I am single. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, am I single? I don't know, am I? It's hard when one person fixes or tries to fix things more than the other person. Like, I don't wanna point fingers and anything like that but a lot of people think that she's leaving me because i didn't get weight loss surgery or because of my weight or because of that no for the first time in my life i understand the saying sometimes you need more than love or sometimes love can only take you so far as cliche as it is it's literally just sometimes love isn't enough <laughs> and it's like i look at everything i've been through in my life and this hurts me the worst ever because i am absolutely and utterly in love with feline and she is absolutely and utterly in love with me. Yesterday was very hard for her. Um, she has not drank in over a year because when I stopped drinking, she also stopped. And she got extremely, extremely drunk yesterday and I had to take care of her. I, I was very worried. Um, there was a moment where I almost called 911 because like, I didn't know what to do. She is trying to numb her pain. She is hurting too. She doesn't want to lose me. And she regrets, she just regrets things when Feline looked at me today and she was crying and I was just like what's hurting you the most and she said I honestly thought it was you through our whole relationship like we had plans of getting married and we even had a venue picked out and you know I was never ready for that proposal and I've talked about that before and does wifey have same goals marriage and kids so we relate to so many things like it's so crazy um that includes kid topic 
Um, regarding marriage, she said that she's never wanted to be married, but she said it feels different with me. So that's cute. I actually live for that. That's so, I don't know, it just makes me really happy. Anyways, um, yeah, because marriage to me is like important. So I don't know, I would love to be married one day. Like I would love to have a wife and I would love to be someone's wife. It's just, I don't know, it is what it is. A lot of people were confused because marriage is something I've always kind of talked about and it's because of the problems. But it was still something that I did want with her. If she worked on herself, we were able to grow together. That is something I wanted. She's definitely setting this up like it was not a mutual decision, that YB did something horrible and that Amber broke things off. And it was something we always said to each other that it's you. I have to keep reminding myself why I'm doing this. And it's so freaking hard. It's like I'm hurting more for Feline than I am for myself because seeing her this heartbroken, like I've never seen this side of her. And I just wanna like hold her and kiss her and love her. And I know that I can't, I know that I shouldn't. And she slept on the couch again last night because I don't wanna sleep in the same bed as her because I need to detach myself. She kept saying how badly she wanted to come crawl into bed with me. And I'm just so glad she didn't because I would've caved. <laughs> I want her to be fully happy and I want me to be fully happy like I <laughs> Felina's worked so hard like she is one of the most hardworking people I've ever known like so many people have this like misconception of her like she don't pay bills she don't do this she don't do that. that's bullshit lies like that's just all made up for the entertainment by reaction channels Feline is the most giving person and she holds her own she holds her own she even holds me sometimes like you know, I'm not really someone who needs help financially and I'm grateful for that. You know, the whole weight loss surgery thing and like, I'm just like such a very giving person where I'm like, oh, you don't have to like pay for rent, it's totally fine. And she's like, no, literally paying for half. I'm paying for all half of the bills. Like, it's like, I don't want her to be hardworking, just fucking pay rent. I want her to be able to live and to live her life and to explore the world. And I cannot give her that right now. It was definitely valid when we all were wondering why YB would move to Kentucky to willingly be housebound with Amber, despite her dreams of traveling. I'm sure YB thought she could change Amber, but like we've seen with all her past girlfriends, it's just not possible. I'm not perfect by no means. Like, Feline wasn't fully happy either. I can't travel with her right now. And I want to give that to her. I want to be able to give that to her. And this is the only way that I know how to do it. There's a lot I have to do. And I have taken a few steps already because I am going to be moving and it's not going to be like right off the bat because I am very obsessive in the sense of I need everything to be perfect. I want to get rid of a lot of the things that I own, whether that be Goodwill, whether that be selling, just a lot of things that hold, like an item can hold so many memories. I just don't want those anymore and I don't want clutter. So my first two things that I was more worried about was, is my bank in the state that I want to go to? And it is, I have had the same accountant for about five, six years now, and I do not want a different one. If I'm able to keep the same accountant, even if I live in a different state, and thankfully I am. Since Amber doesn't have a car nor a driver's license, she is definitely trying to get as much done as possible before YB officially moves out because that's her only means of transportation. She swore that YB was going to teach her how to drive, but in the two years they were together, that never happened, and now she's stuck. Um, I do want to just start kind of getting things together and if I have to live out of boxes for a little bit, that's fine. This isn't like a messy breakup. Like she wants to be there to help me and I want her to be here and I want to spend as much time with her as I can, like as a friend. And I know that she feels the same way. You can love someone with every single part of you, but no, is that we could stay together. It was hurting being with her. It's hard when you think that you like are willing to accept like how a relationship is. So you're like, okay, this is going to be my life. This is going to be my future. But then when something finally just like clicks in your head and you're like, no, wait, I can't, I can't accept this.